So Trello is a software app that allows you to manage projects and collaborate with your team members to communicate the important aspects of that project. So in this video, we're gonna actually go through week one and two of our previous video where we set out the four week recruitment plan. Okay, so when you click into the card, you'll see different elements of that card. And we're gonna add a more detailed description, kind of a reminder uh, to whoever's gonna be the owner of this card. So as a project manager, you can add in uh, specific instructions to help them understand more of what it is that they're supposed to do. Another important aspect is you can add or assign a member to be the owner of that card. And you can add multiple um, members if they're responsible for that specific task. Very important. Every task needs to have a due date. People work better under deadlines. So be very specific and add a due date. So what we're doing here is, let's say you realize that you wanted to give an instruction as well uh, as to where they're supposed to upload the template after they're finished with it. So we're basically just saying, upload the template into our Google Drive um, and provide the hyperlink in the activity column below. And you can see here as an example uh, that whenever this person who has this, res this responsibility completes that task, they just post the uh, URL into the activity. Everyone has access to it. Um, so something to explain about how this board works. So these cards remain in the to-do column while they're uh, not yet being worked on. When someone has been assigned it and they're act actively working on that, it goes into the doing column. And then the beauty about this is when that task is completed, you're gonna move that card into the done column. And that's gonna send an important trigger uh, to the project manager and those on the team to see that that task is now done. So that individual who is working on that task is freed up now to work on other projects or to assist other teams team members in finishing their task cards. So as you see here, we're gonna move a couple of these other task cards into the doing column, and we're gonna go into a little bit of detail. So um, a lot of the same elements here, you see the description, uh, the, the title of the card, you can see who we assigned the card to, and you can see that we have a, to, a due date. Now, something that's important is the nature of this task is one that requires other members on the team uh, to participate. They have to put in the information about the professors that they're gonna ask. So there's a nice checklist uh, function within each of these cards. And so what we've done here is we've taken the four people uh, on this project team who are assigned to the professors that they're gonna reach out to about this class pitch. So we put their names on there. And the beauty about this is once you check their name off or they themselves would come in, check their name off, and the team and you as the project leader can see the progress being made. So at the end, if you're getting close to the deadline and right here, you can see, okay, three or four tasks on the checklist have been completed. So you can dig in and see who's the person or what task you know, hasn't been done. So in this instance, you can reach out to Josh and say, hey, the deadline's coming close. Do you need any help? Uh, I noticed that you haven't entered your information into the spreadsheet. So the really cool thing is once you see that you've checked all those uh, checklists off, it turns green, it signifies that those tasks are done, you move the card into the done column and you have a little celebration and victory lap with the team to celebrate that little uh, milestone. Okay, so another task, we're gonna move into week two here. And um, again, you can see you gotta have a due date. That's, that's so important. Every single task needs to have a due date. Um, so using the same technique here with the checklist, we basically put the name of all the professors on the list. And we've said, when you're finished ask, making your asks, uh, go ahead and check their name off so we can know when everyone has been uh, asked. And again, you know, as a project manager, you can just come into this document and you can see what the status of the project is. You can see the, the names of the two professors who haven't been uh, asked and you can know who is responsible for asking those professors. So you can reach out to them with a general reminder to say, hey, would you please um, complete your task? The deadline's coming up in a day. So again, this is a pretty bare bones introduction to Trello, but I've already heard a bunch of other Enactus student leaders, some from top teams that are using Trello 
And they say it's just very valuable to how they can collaborate and coordinate and communicate all of these important aspects that are involved in any type of project. And it gives you this really simple, easy to use platform to have a visual cue about the status of each project, who's doing what, when it's due. I encourage you to start using Trello today. I can guarantee you that when you get out into the workforce, lots of companies are using software like this, and you're gonna be steps ahead of other individuals who didn't learn how to use a project management application like this. So thanks for watching. And again, uh, add a comment. There will be a link below, which will take you to a page on Enactus Plus. Uh, join the conversation, ask any questions that you have. If there's any other content um, that you would like to recommend that I create, I'm happy to create a little tutorial. Or if you have specific questions about this and want to know some of the um, additional functionality of how you might use Trello, uh, ask the question there and I'll be happy to answer it. So thanks for tuning in today.